Hi everyone, my name is Rosemary Kahn, Senior Executive Unit Leader with Avon, and today I want to talk to you about lead share. So, I want to explain the reasons why I think everyone should do whatever they can to get on this program and how it can benefit your business. So let me start with what is lead share. Well, lead share is a program that Avon offers to qualified leadership representatives. And what happens is the leads that come into Avon are distri distributed amongst those who meet the qualifications. So in other words, it's like getting some free leads. I mean, there are some things you have to do to work to get them, but other than that, these leads come to you without laying out money, um, without placing advertising. They're, they're yours when you meet these qualifications and you are put into the rotation. So, let's talk about some of the benefits of being on lead share. And I'm going to give you an example because I've been in Avon for a long time. I've done every kind of um, different way I could to get recruits and build my team. And I've, in the past, well, on and off within my business, I do advertising. And I understand the cost of advertising. And I understand that sometimes I could put a lot of money into it and not really yield back the, the amount of leads that I want. So when you're in lead share, to me, it's like you're just getting free advertising. And that's worth a lot of money in itself. So why would you want to leave any money on the table? If you're a leadership representative, and these are two of the qualifiers, that you would need to be a leadership representative, uh, a unit leader or above, and a President's Club member, and that would qualify you for leadership. So if you're not yet a President's Club member, you want to make that one of your first goals, and then you want to move on into becoming a unit leader, because the combination of the two, in my opinion, is the best of the opportunity, and Maybe you're, you're not in leadership, but maybe you don't have enough information. Because if you can sell a President's Club or above, at that point, to me, it shouldn't even be a question. Leadership should be your next goal to target. So let me just start off by talking a little bit about our different markets that you can um, work with in order to get recruits. And... There's three of them. There's your cold market, your warm market, and your extended warm market. And I'm gonna break it down so you understand what each market is. Now, your cold market. Those are people that you don't really know. They're people that you may meet when you're doing a table. They're people that you may meet by handing out brochures or hanging flyers. But a lot of them can come through advertising if you have that in your budget. And this is why, again, I'm going to say Lead Share is such a great program. Because when you, when you do use advertising as an option, the people who call are people who are already decided that they want to sell. Or they're someone who's considering wanting to sell. So those are great leads to get. And... By being in lead share, you're getting these leads with Avon paying for the advertising to pull them in. Now for your warm market and extended warm market. Your warm market are people that you know, most likely you know them by name. You don't necessarily have to because it could be the receptionist in your doctor's office or it could be the cashier that you always see when you go get your coffee. But that's basically your warm market, people that you know. Your extended warm market, that's people that you know, that know your warm market. So in other words, to give you 
an I a better idea. It's like one person away from your warm market. So say you have a friend Susie, and she has a friend Karen, but you don't know Karen. She would be your extended warm market because she's one person away. Now, I think that um, many representatives don't target in on this market as much as they really should. They think they do, but I, I don't think they realize the huge potential. And I'll give you an example. My last four or five unit leaders that came on my team, and this is many years after I've started Avon, have come from my warm market or my extended warm market. And I just, I don't want to see people thinking that, oh, well, once you first join Avon, you pretty much hit your warm market. You may have, but maybe you haven't, um, haven't done the correct approach or you haven't nurtured the relationship enough where you can benefit in your business and help them gain from the Avon opportunity. So I have something, uh, a technique, because we're, I want to talk to you about lead share and why lead share you need to do it now. You need to get on lead share now. And one of the reasons is now that Le Avon has put a qualifier in where you need to have five recruits in the previous quarter in order to be eligible for the next quarter, the lead share is actually even better than it's ever been because the rotation is smaller. So while the rotation is smaller, you want to get in. Because every quarter you're not in, you're missing out on a, the whole next quarter of not having lead share. And the other benefit is that once you are in lead share, it's easier to maintain lead share because you're going to be consistently getting these leads through Avon. So how are you going to do that? Well, let me just... I have some cards written out here. Let me just go through first. Well, we're going to start with, again, the cold market. So now is the time to order those extra brochures, have recruiting information in them, have make recruiting stickers up, um, do tables if there's tables. And there's lots of holiday tables around. Uh, you can um, hang flyers up in your area. And if it's within your budget, now would be a, a nice time to maybe put some advertising out. So that's what you would do for the cold market. So for your warm market and extended market, I have a technique that I call the favor technique. And I've used this, I, I use this throughout my Avon career and I also recently wrote a workbook I have it here it's called the if program and it's based on the favor technique but if you don't have the workbook you can also do the favor technique using the believe book which you find in the appointment kit now let me explain a little bit about the favor technique it's, it's a way of working with your warm and your extended warm market by asking these people if they wouldn't mind doing you a favor. And that favor, it could be, you could go straight to the punchline and you could say, or I shouldn't call it the punchline, straight to the statement and you can say, you know what? I'm trying to meet a goal. I want to get into this program for Avon. It will really help my business. And you should be as honest as possible with them. Do you think you could do me a favor? Do you think that you could be willing to listen for five minutes so I could just tell you a little bit more about the opportunity and how I think that it could help you over the holiday season? 
And now the reason I limit it to the holiday season is because sometimes people are hesitant when they think something is long term. But the holidays are coming and it's easy to talk to people right now about would you need a little extra money for the holidays. So the favorite technique in that sense is going straight to the state you want to get. However, with things like the IF program or actually using your Believe book in your appointment kit, you can use that favor technique in a way in which your, um, how do I explain this, your first connecting better before going to your favor statement. And let me explain it a little bit. I'll use, well, you know what? Let me add this. As representatives, I noticed that most of us, or many of us, I should say, and I'm not even going to include myself, many representatives, they are not going on appointments and not doing any kind of presentations unless they're sure they are already have the person the person has already decided they're going to sell. So when they're going to do appointments, it's because someone said, I'm going to sell. If you think about the other direct selling companies, uh, most of them don't do this. They either have some kind of presentation or they'll have some kind of party. And within that party, they'll make a presentation. So many of us will be pretty much going out there and saying, oh, would you like to sell Avon? Now, I know myself, and I know when I walk into the department store and there's that lady with the perfume sprayer, and I see her coming, I'm already running. One, because I'm probably not going to buy her perfume because I use Avon products, and two, I don't want her to be selling me. And what happens with that sometimes is... I could be missing out, maybe it's the most beautiful fragrance I ever smelled, but I, I'm not even willing to go there at that point, so I'm running away. And there is also this other place in the mall, and they have this little kiosk there, and they're so aggressive with their selling that I know when I walk into that mall, I'm avoiding that. And now maybe they have some great products there that could help me, but I've already got that in my head, and there's many people like that. So if you're, um, there may be many people in your warm and your extended warm market that are interested in selling or would be willing if they could get the information. But sometimes you need to approach them in a very laid back, um, not expecting anything. You don't have to do a presentation or you don't have to do an appointment and always know that I'm going to get that person signed up. Because there's many things to gain just by having that presentation with the person. So, in other words, with the IF program, it, it includes also a questionnaire that you would ask your participants if they could do you a favor and fill out this questionnaire because you want some information and they don't have to feel any obligation to buy anything. You would just like the opportunity because you are going for a goal and you could really use their help. Now, I have the exact wording in the book and it, it works out great when you're following it exactly the way I describe in the book. So let's say you don't have the if presentation. You have your belief book, which comes in your appointment kit. And the first few pages, or I wouldn't even say the first few pages, like about the first half of the book is really perfect for using a presentation with someone, telling them about our company, telling them what their benefits are from joining our company, getting them to start to think about their goals and dreams, and actually thinking of who they could possibly sell to. So in this case, if you didn't have the if program, you have something right in your appointment kit where you could ask people, would you mind doing me a favor? I need to do a little presentation. It will take 15 minutes. I'm going for a goal. 
And when you get that opportunity now to sit with these people, you're opening up a whole world of possibilities because you're gaining information and you're taking that information from them and then you're going to be able to explain to them how the Avon opportunity can help them. So with the IF program, I actually designed it so that it's hitting on key points that I think are important and it also has a carbon for you to leave with the person so that they have a reminder of the benefits of joining Avon. But again, a presentation is a presentation. There are all different tools. If you don't have the IF program, you could work with something like your Believe book. So, let me see where I'm going from here. Okay, um, I, I want to give you an example of a favor I had asked of my friend many years ago and I said to her you know I'm going for this incentive I could use a favor would you be willing to sell Avon right now just for a little bit just try for a little bit and she said oh no I don't want to have anything to do with that Avon and I said oh you know what I really really want to go for this goal and I actually think that you have people to sell to it's only ten dollars you have nothing to lose and she said oh okay and then after she was selling for months, I said to her, because she didn't quit, um, you know what, I'm going for another incentive and I really would love if you would do me the favor and maybe consider leadership. And she again said, oh, I don't know if I could do that. And I said, you know what, I'm going to help you along the way because I really, really want to get this incentive. And... She said, oh, okay, but I, I, do I have to do it forever? I said, no. Well, before you knew it, she became a unit leader. And she liked it. And she, she really was enjoying it. Unfortunately, she wound up moving to Virginia. She lost her contacts here. And her Avon career didn't go as she had really wished it to. Because she really gave it a good shot while she was down there. But um, what came of it was... In her first generation, I had a representative that rolled up who wound up becoming my first executive unit leader. And when you think about it, this all started because I asked my girlfriend, could you do me a favor? And what I find is when you use that wording, and this is the wording and um, the training I've included in my book, that there's a lot of possibilities and it opens up a lot of doors in your warm and your extended warm market that you may think are not there. And a lot of people, the problem is they think, well, my warm market I hit right from the beginning. But as I said before, my last four to five unit leaders came from my warm market and or extended warm market. And that was years later. And I think that we miss out on a lot of opportunities because we're used to maybe just handing a brochure, handing a flyer, and asking people, do you want to sell? Now, if you asked enough people, do you want to sell? Are you interested in selling? Would you like to earn an extra $500 a month? There are people who are going to jump on that. And many of them are people who have that in mind already, that they're uh, looking for something else, and maybe they're specifically looking for Avon. But there are so many more people out there that if you give them the information that you're going to find recruits and some of them very, very successful recruits. It's just you need to have the little pitch to get in. Um, let me see. Okay, so I have some other cards here I can quickly go through. I don't even know if I just said this, that the lead, I did, that leads are better than ever because the rotation, I'll say it again, is, is less than it was before they had these extra qualifiers. So it's another reason to get in now because the rotation is only going to get bigger as time goes by. Um, lead share is not recruit share. Lead share, this is exactly what it is. Lead share, not recruit share. You're not getting a guaranteed recruit. And when you look at it for what it really is, it will help you feel better that 
you know what, if you call one of those lead chairs and they don't get on right away, that's okay. There's an interest. Nobody said it's guaranteed. And sometimes people will say, oh, well, my lead chair wasn't good. Well, you still have the lead. You still have time to follow up, and I will follow up for years until they tell me they, they don't want me to follow up with them anymore. The timing may not be right right now, but lead chair is not recruit chair. And some of those leads need to be worked and developed in order to get them to become recruits. So you will get some good leads, you will get some bad leads, but you're getting leads. And it's no different than if you advertise yourself, except you'd be paying for that advertising space. And with lead share, you're not. Um, so we went through this. Okay, let me see what else here. Okay, when you're working with potential leads, how you talk to them makes a big difference. And I like to say, when you're doing any of these mini types of presentations, that you should put your expectations behind and think of it as, what can you offer them to change their life? And get it out of your head, what can they give me? Because when you start looking the other way and think about how can I help them with Avon or how can I show them what Avon can give them and the opportunity, how can it change their life and you work on what you can do to help change their life, things will come back to you in a better way than if you're going at them about well, how is this going to help me. And I mean that's just I think a lesson in life in every every dis different aspect of your life. So it's about what can you give to them? And if you talk to them that way and you ask them a lot of questions and let them figure out how it can work for them, it actually, to me, works out better because they're ultimately making the decision without feeling so much pressure. Um, I had a representative the other day who had said to me, I'm doing this, I'm asking everybody, and what am I doing wrong? And I said, you're not doing anything wrong. You should always be asking everybody because those people who are thinking about it or thinking about getting, uh, making some more money or thinking about Avon, if you ask enough people, you'll find them. But you, she wasn't doing anything wrong, but sometimes you have to do more. And again, there are people I know within your warm market that you haven't hit enough or haven't, that's the wrong word, haven't given them enough information for them to really make a good decision. And I'll give you an example. I did uh, an IF presentation the other day, which actually, well, it wasn't the other day, but it actually connected me to even more people in my extended warm market and some in my war market, it just connected me to a lot where I gained a lot of new customers. And these are people I already knew, but I needed to get them the information for them to feel maybe comfortable with buying Avon, maybe understanding it a little better, maybe get them more excited about it. So by talking to asking everyone, you're not doing anything wrong, but sometimes you need to do more to grow your business. Your team. Your team, if you have President's Club members on your team, if you have unit leaders on your team, it's really to your benefit and to their benefit, of course, for them to get on lead share. Because if you're not working with them on doing that, then they're leaving money on the table, which in turn means, in turn